Where are you? Did you take the food on the table? How dare you touch the food, you lazy greedy girl? Huh? You better not let me find you. Where are you? Come out! Sulem was a Muay Thai, a young girl bought to be a slave, to cook, to clean, and to beat whenever he felt like it. She was rarely given food. Sometimes, a piece of dry biscuit or a few grains of rice. Yet, whenever she tried to take a little food from the kitchen, her master would beat her half to death if he found out. Stupid Muay Thai! No, no, I feed you enough, huh? I know you're in there. You better come out now or I'll beat you to death. Maybe I should just set you off. Human lives were cheap back then. Unwanted young girls fetched good prices in the bustling market. It was common to see traders haggling over their prices, like mere pieces of meat. I put you in my best clothing, so you better fetch me a handsome price, huh? <laughs> Muay Thai for sale! Hey, Muay Thai for sale! Best in the market! Muay Thai for sale! Hey, Muay Thai for sale, come have a look. Muay Thai for sale. Best in the market. She looked decent. I want this one. How much? $300 only. Very good price. Look at her. She's very hardworking and she's very obedient. She will make you an excellent Muay Thai. Ah, yo, so expensive. I don't think she's worth it. So skinny. She got strength to do anything or not. Any better price? Cannot. 300 is a good price. She's very strong. She will never fall sick. 300 is a good price, you know. You can't get anywhere. Yeah. Ah, yeah, this kind of Muay Thai you want to sell for 300 old man? Don't want. She's definitely not worth 300. Huh. You stupid girl! You useless girl! Look what you have done! What am I gonna do with you now, huh? Maybe I just kill you! Stop this. Don't hit her anymore. I'll take her. For 300? Yes. Uh, uh, this ring should be worth that. Okay. Good morning, Mrs. Dyer. Good morning, children. How has your work been? Today, we have a new student, Su Lin, with us. She'll be with us from now on, so do treat her properly. Okay, girls? Sulin, please join them. Okay, carry on with your work. I'll be back shortly. Another one. We don't have the money to keep buying them, madam. We simply cannot afford it anymore. I know, but we must. It's all right, my clothing, the rest of my jewelry, we still have some valuables left. They must be worth something, whatever it takes. God knows, they've got no one else to turn to. Okay, girls, let's get back to the lesson. Today we're going to be learning about the alphabet. Let's continue with I, J, K. I, J, K. And so, the girls were plucked out of slavery and a lifetime of abuse. Mrs. Dyer taught them valuable life skills as well as basic knowledge of how to read and write. But the journey was never easy. People tried to stop her and her activities. But she was driven by a higher and greater purpose. And eventually won them over. Today, we will be learning about the values of our school. There are three.
three of them. Can anyone tell me what they are? Charity. Good. Anyone else? You? Devotion. Devotion. And the last one. Okay. Patience. That's right. Now, I want all of you to write down the three words. Charity, patience and devotion in your books. Ten times each. I will come around to check on your penmanship. Get started. That's pretty good. But remember, higher T's, okay? My daughter back. There's no point in studying. She's more useful at home or looking for her husband. There's no need for a girl to study. Please don't create a scene here. Your daughter will have a better future with whatever she learns here. Please respect her and respect this school. Learn? Learn for what? Huh? Just go look for a job and earn some money back for me. I wasted so much time and money to bring her up. And now she just wants to shake her leg here every day. Ah. Don't waste time studying lah! Come back here! Come back now! I won't let you take her! Who do you think you are? Huh? You are just a teacher. I am her father. I'm warning you ah. Huh? I will take her back no matter what! You... Stop it! Don't you see? Education is the key to how you and her can have a better life. Can't you see that this will help both of you in the future? She will be able to find a job in an office, as a clerk, and she will earn you more money with her studies. What will it take for you to let her remain in school? <sighs> Times back then were tough and education for women was still a rarity. But the newly formed St. Margaret's blossomed, thanks to teachers like Su Lin. Class, let's continue. Thanks to the vision of Mrs. Dyer, and thanks to the charity, patience, and devotion of her many girls. In the years after the war, St. Margaret's welcomed many new students. Not all of them stayed near the school, and transport was still developing. Yet, girls from all over Singapore travelled to attend St. Margaret's. Education was not as comfortable as it is today. Back then, floods were relatively common. Sometimes, the girls could not get back home and had to spend the night in school. But that only meant that they got to spend more time with each other. Where warm drinks, plentiful supplies and happy chatter filled the cold and stormy nights. Hi, Christina. I heard about your mom. How is she? Are you coping well with your work? Miss Noraini, my mom is feeling a little unwell, but she's getting better already. I'm helping the household chores, but I'm doing my work well. That's good to know. Look, if you think the school can help you in any way, please inform us. Yes, Miss Noraini, thank you for your concern.
for the most improved student of the year goes to Christina Ko of class 5 and 2. Congratulations, Christina. What an achievement. We are very proud of you, and I'm glad to know that your mother has recovered to share your joy. Thank you. And so it goes. Generation after generations of girls educated at St. Margaret's. Built on the shoulders of giants, they never gave up their dream to educate the girls of tomorrow, to meet tomorrow's new challenges, wherever they may be. Through charity, patience and devotion, these qualities St. Margaret's has shown, on which our school has grown. <laughs>